Today, I'm talking about the health benefits of zinc, not only for your immune system, for your gut health, for your hormone health. There's so many other benefits, but those are what we're going to focus on today. So please stay tuned to learn more about how zinc can help you. Hi, I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. And thanks so much for joining me again. Um, I am a functional medicine doctor, registered dietitian, and family medicine doctor. I talk a lot about gut and hormone health, and I'm going to continue that discussion today in regards to a really essential uh, nutrient or uh, mineral um, in our lives called zinc. I'm sure you've heard of it, um, but some of us are deficient in zinc. Uh, a lot of times um, our pathways in our different systems, like our hormone system and our gut health, our gut system, um, require more zinc than we think we need. And it all depends on our genes as well. So it can be complicated, but uh, zinc can be very important for your immune system, for your hormone health, and for your gut health. But before we move on to talk more about zinc, and please stay tuned to the end because I'm going to talk about my favorite types of zinc and, and what uh, benefits there are to knowing what type you should choose. Um, but I would love for you to subscribe to, if you haven't already, to hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every week and to like and, and share this video out. Um, so let's talk more about zinc. So it's an essential metal, basically. Um, that means we need to consume it. We don't have it naturally in our systems. It helps keep our cells healthy throughout various, um, systems in our, in our bodies. Acts like an antioxidant. Uh, it fights aging, it fights free radical damage on our vessels. So it really helps our heart health too. Um, and it helps hormones like testosterone, insulin. It helps our ovaries uh, in making um, healthy eggs. So a lot of great benefits to zinc helps our gut as well. So zinc is found in protein-rich foods, animal products. Um, I'm going to talk about those foods towards the end and nuts and seeds. And like I said, it's great for our immune system. Um, if we don't have enough zinc, they found in studies that some, if someone has a zinc deficiency, then they don't have the, the optimal function of their macrophages, their neutrophils and, neutrophils and their natural killer cells. And those are all things in our immune system that are essential for fighting off infection and disease. Um, if they've also found in studies have taken for five months ahead of a cold or flu season that you could um, reduce your risk for getting sick um, from a viral illness. And then if you take it during that, if you haven't, boot, you know, loaded up on it ahead of time, not loaded up, but then five months ahead of time taking it, you can still get a benefit from taking it if you have an infection, a viral infection, because it will speed up your healing, sometimes by as much as two, a little over two days. Um, you've probably seen it used for COVID and yes, it can be part of kind of the regimen, the natural healing regimen that can help with COVID. Obviously, sometimes that's not enough for some people that are ill and admitted to the hospital and they may need med medical support, but zinc can be a powerful player in immunity for various viral infections. For our gut, um, we need it to, to um, use our amino acids from our foods, from our proteins that we eat. It also helps break down your carbohydrates. It can um, help repair the gut lining. There's a certain formulation of zinc that's zinc plus carnosine called zinc carnosine. So it's not just straight up zinc. And we're going to talk about dosing of that at the end, but um, very beneficial for repairing our gut lining. So if you have a leaky gut, if you have um, a H. pylori or acid stomach kind of thing, the zinc can help repair that as well and help fight that. Um, and it can decrease inflammation in the liver. So help with our detoxification system, which is so important, our liver. Um, but let me stop here to say, if you are having any of the gut problems I mentioned, leaky gut, H. pylori, imbalanced bacteria, SIBO, constipation, bloating, abdominal pain, check out my Trust Your Gut course. It's an online course um, with lots of different videos and resources um, that can really help you understand what might be going on in your gut and take all the steps to heal your gut. So there's a discounted uh, rate available to subscribers um, who join my email list. So check out the link in the description. But back to zinc. So with hormones, um, zinc can help boost testosterone. Um, so for men that have low testosterone, zinc can be a, a powerful player there. Um, for women that are wanting to pay attention to their fertility, it can help um, create and release eggs from the ovaries. Also can help um, 
with the production in women of estrogen and testosterone. So can be helpful for women in their sexual health as well. Um, other benefits of zinc, I've talked in, in some of my videos that I'll link here on insulin resistance and the importance of, of avoiding insulin resistance. And zinc can be a good player in that and help your insulin balance. And un- insulin helps to bring our blood sugar down and help us avoid diabetes and heart disease and you know abnormal hormone levels and belly fat that we can't lose, all that stuff. We need a proper in- functioning insulin reserve. Um, and then usage of um, our digestive enzymes zinc can help with our digestive enzymes to be at their optimal. So that way we can break down our food and really have a better digestive tract. And then again, with our healthy blood vessels, it can help um, fight the free radicals and the damage that can be harmful that can that can occur to our, our vessels, our arteries, our veins and, and help keep our heart and our circulatory system healthy. We always want that to happen or to be have a healthy heart and a healthy um, blood vessels as well. So deficiencies. So how do you know if you have a zinc deficiency? Well, you know, we could, as providers, if you have a provider that will do this for you, you can do a red blood cell zinc level. Um, you can also look at your symptoms. Like, are you getting sick a lot in, in cold or viral seasons? Are you really fatigued? And granted, that could come from a lot of different things, but zinc could be one of the causes. Um, poor concentration could be a sign of a zinc deficiency and poor wound healing for sure, because we do know the importance of zinc. Another benefit is to help heal our wounds. And then globally, 17 up to 17% of the population is deficient in zinc. Now that's globally, that's not just in the US or developed countries, but it, it can be... A, a, a deficiency that goes hidden and that we don't know that we have. So it's good to check that out. So let's talk about what foods have zinc. The foods that have zinc are animal products like grass-fed beef, poultry, eggs. You can also get it from chickpeas, cashews, pumpkin seeds, um, mushrooms are another choice, dark chocolate, yogurt. So dark chocolate, I mean like 88% or higher. I'm not talking about those that say they're dark chocolate and they're like 50% or higher. We don't want that's mostly sugar. So don't look for that. But so animal products, nuts, seeds, <clears throat> mushrooms, eggs, and the dark chocolate are good sources. Now our daily requirement, according to the FDA is eight to 11 milligrams, uh, depending on, you know, you as an individual, what your gene status is, what your absorption is, are you eating fresh foods? You may have a higher need than that. So that's just kind of the bare minimum. But we also have a maximum too. We don't really want to go higher than 40 milligrams a day of zinc. Sometimes if somebody does have COVID or an active viral infection they're trying to fight, we will go higher than that, like 50 to 100 during the active infection, um, but then cut back you know, to that 40 or less on a regular basis. One thing that we need to watch, watch out for in zinc is it disrupting our copper. So if you take high doses of zinc and then you don't take copper, well, you're going to have a copper deficiency. And then we have all different different set of problems with the copper deficiency. So one of my favorite types of zinc, um, there are some brands, there's a Designs for Health type that's on that I'll link in my description. There's also a store brand um, that you can also get through my dispensary or through Amazon or any of the local stores called Jaro Zinc Balance. And so it's, it's balanced with um, a milligram of, or micro, milligram of copper for every 15 milligrams of zinc. So that's a good balance there. You do not want to develop a copper deficiency. And then if you're having issues with your gut, a good type is that zinc carnosine. And you may think that that dose looks high because it's 75 milligrams, but remember part of that is carnosine and part of that is zinc. So that really equals out to about 17 milligrams of zinc for every 75 milligrams of zinc carnosine. So you're not overdoing it there. Um, you're a little bit over that ratio of that 15 to one with zinc to copper. So you could add in some copper, but you're close enough where you probably won't develop a copper deficiency if you're eating enough copper in the nuts and seeds and and some of the same foods that have zinc. Um, Zinc sulfate is the cheapest, but it's the hardest on your gut and you don't, because zinc can cause nausea, especially in high doses. So you always want to take zinc with food and it's not absorbed that well, the zinc sulfate. So I would go with a different choice. There's citrate, there's glycinate. Those are good options. And then there's, if you have gut absorption issues, there's the um, zinc carnosine. And I'll put some links down below of some brands I really like. Um, if you have any questions or comments on zinc, uh, let me know. But again, you can check that red blood cell zinc 
with your doctor through any of the common labs where you get your blood work done. So thanks so much for joining me and learning more about zinc. Um, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Please join me next week and hit the bell to be notified when I post a video, new video on gut and hormone health every week on the channel.